welcome to Plaid Stallion's Toy Ventures. I'm Brian, and as teased in this week's episode of Vintage Mego, we're going to talk about some Buck Rogers figures. The other kind, the ones not done by Mego. While Mego is the name that is most associated with Buck Rogers in the 25th century, and there's a good reason, they were actually a couple of licenses granted internationally that aren't as well known, and I thought it would be fun to give them a little attention. That's the whole point of Toy Ventures. Our first subject is Bendy Toys from the United Kingdom. Bendy is appropriately named as their output were these figures made of wire, armature, and foam rubber, and they were mainly licensed characters from cartoons and television. The majority of them were UK-based characters like Warzel Gummidge, Naughty, Captain Kremen from the Kenny Everett Show, and Rupert Bear. But a few American characters snuck in there like Mickey Mouse... Spider-Man, and Buck Rogers and Tweaky. It's not that strange that Buck Rogers was made, as it was a hit in the United Kingdom. It was airing opposite Doctor Who on a channel called ITV. But it is kind of an odd toy. <laughs> Buck is wearing some kind of silvery space Nuru suit. And, well, most Bendy figures have these big, white, cartoony gloved hands, and it just kind of looks weird the head sculpt is really nice but it's all just a little discordant it, is it an action figure is it a plush it reminds me a little bit of those knickerbocker kirk and spock plushes that came out after the first movie that no one wanted the twiki is particularly nice although i do worry that these figures will just sort of rot away i've seen a few bendy toys go bad it's not pretty i don't think this set sold very well and it seems like they're pretty easy to find nowadays on the secondary market in the box uh, it was a gift to me from my podcast partner and i do love them i have them uh, on display right behind me moving over to the other side of the world we have what i believe is the rarest series of toys based on buck rogers and that is done by a company called kroner and they are based out of australia Kroner was mainly a distributor of toys manufactured by other companies, and, and for a long time, it was assumed by Mego collectors that these toys were actually made by Mego, but there's actually no evidence of that. This is made more obvious that there are zero markings on the toys themselves. The figures are about five inches tall, and they are essentially a squeaky toy with five points of articulation. They do almost look like someone blew up the smaller Mego figures, but who knows? There are three figures in this series, Buck, Tweaky, and Tiger Man. No one I know has a complete set of these. In fact, many people have never heard of this line, including some people I know in Australia. This figure was a donation to the channel from my friend Will, who owns that awesome carded one uh, that I featured there. I'm super grateful about it because I've been looking for over 20 years for these figures. They just don't come up. Lastly, and even though this is more modern, I wanted to add it into this, this mix. This is a wonderful 8-inch action figure from a company called uh, Zika, I believe. It is a Russian term of affection. Um, this is probably one of the nicest of what we call Remigo figures ever made. Unfortunately for me and other collectors, there were only two figures that saw production, and that was Buck and Tiger Man before the Buck Rogers license expired. This is a shame because they had some great characters planned that I really wanted, including Hawk, of course. Zig is still in the business of making toys, and they're pretty good at it, but unfortunately they sold their 8-inch body tooling to Diamond Select, who to my knowledge has done absolutely nothing with it at least we got a really awesome buck rogers figure out of the deal i i use him as much as i can in a mint off card and he usually sits on my desk it's a really nice action figure so that's my look at other buck rogers action figures i hope you've enjoyed it i am a fan of the series are you you can let me know in the comments below or you can hit me up in our facebook group pod stallions where buck rogers is an important part of our conversations Thank you as always for watching. If you're new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. I do this every week. 
And be sure to check out my Buck Rogers playlist on this channel. I've talked about Buck quite a bit and will continue to do so. Till next time, be well, talk toys, not other people. Take care. <laughs>